As you can see in the title, in this lecture we are going to obtain drain and transfer characteristics of enhancement type MOSFET. First we will obtain the drain characteristics or I can write the output characteristics because drain characteristics is the characteristics between the output current and the output voltage and once we have the drain characteristics we will use it to find the transfer characteristics. So our first job is to find out drain characteristics and we already know the output current in case of MOSFET is equal to the drain current ID and the output voltage is equal to voltage VDS drain to source voltage and the control variable the control variable is the voltage VGS so the drain characteristics the drain characteristics is the plot between current ID current ID which is the output current and voltage VDS which is the output voltage for various for various levels of levels of control variable or control voltage VGS which is the input voltage so this is what we have to do to find out the drain characteristics and I will quickly draw the y axis and the x axis the y axis is for the drain current ID in milliamp and the x axis is for voltage VDS in volt this is the origin in case of MOSFET in case of MOSFET voltage VT which is the threshold voltage is already given and not only threshold voltage but also constant K is given we will talk about constant K after some time but for now you have to know this thing that VT and K are already given and now we will discuss case number one we will discuss case number one in case of drain characteristics VGS is greater than VT this means there will be a channel between drain and source and for case 1 I will represent VGS as VGS1 and the width of channel will depend on the effective voltage I will represent the effective voltage by V subscript E double F and it is equal to VGS1 minus VT the gate to source voltage minus the threshold voltage and this effective voltage will directly affect the width of N channel so the N channel will be formed corresponding to this voltage and the significant amount of drain current can flow through it initially when VDS is equal to zero the drain current will be zero the drain current ID will be zero initially because VDS is equal to zero the drain current is equal to zero because potential difference between drain and source is equal to zero volt VDS equal to zero volt implies VD is equal to VS so potential at drain is same as potential at source so there is no potential difference and therefore current will not flow through the channel now if you increase VDS if you go on increasing the voltage VDS this implies the drain current ID will also increase because potential difference between drain and source is increasing so drain current ID will increase linearly like this but as soon as VDS is equal to VDS saturation ID will become constant when VDS becomes equal to VDS saturation this implies the drain current ID will become constant and this condition is known as pinch of condition we have already discussed 
these points in the last lecture. So once VDS is equal to VDS saturation, IID will become constant. It will saturate like this. And the Y coordinate corresponding to this point is the voltage VDS saturation is the voltage VDS saturation. Now what is the voltage VDS saturation? VDS saturation VDS saturation is equal to voltage VGS minus VT. We saw in the last lecture. In the first case VGS is equal to VGS1. So VD saturation in this case is equal to VGS1 minus VT. Now let's try to understand pinch off condition in MOSFET. Voltage VGS is applied between gate and source with this polarity minus plus VGS and voltage VDS is applied between source and drain with this polarity minus plus voltage VDS and we have to find voltage VGD we have to find voltage VGD using Kirchhoff's voltage law I will move in this direction so we have plus VDS plus VDS plus VGD plus VGD minus VGS minus VGS equal to 0 so VGD is equal to VGS minus VDS and as we already know in case of pinch off VDS is equal to VGS minus VT so we have VGD equal to VGS minus VGS plus VT VGS minus VGS will cancel out so VGD is equal to VT in case of pinch off when VDS is equal to VGS minus VT now let's try to understand what will happen when VGD is equal to the threshold voltage VT let's say VGS is equal to 2 volt and VT VT is equal to 1 volt in this case the effective voltage is equal to 1 volt so you can see 1 volt of VGS is used to overcome the threshold voltage VT and the remaining 1 volt is used to define the width of N channel when VDS is equal to VGS minus VT VGD is equal to VT this means it is equal to 1 volt and if you compare the polarity of VGS and VGD you will find the polarities are opposite so near the drain we are having 1 volt in the opposite polarity so it is like we have overcome the threshold voltage in this region and we have the width of channel depending on the effective voltage but near the drain we again have the threshold voltage and uh, this threshold voltage near the drain we are unable to overcome so the width of channel will become zero the depletion region will increase and the width of channel will become almost zero it will not become completely zero because in that case the drain current ID will become zero amp which is not possible and when you see the region near the drain you will find it is like a pinch so this is the pinch of condition the drain current ID will become constant and the condition for pinch off is VDS equal to VGS minus VT and we call VDS as VD saturation so I hope this condition is clear to you and if you go on increasing VDS beyond VD saturation the drain current will remain constant now if you increase VDS to higher values breakdown will happen and the drain current will increase drastically now let's discuss the case number two in case number two I will decrease 
द गेट टू सोर्स वोल्टेज केस नंबर टू द न्यू गेट टू सोर्स वोल्टेज इज वी जी एस टू एंड वी जी एस टू इज लेस देन वी जी एस वन ऑन इंक्रीजिंग द गेट टू सोर्स वोल्टेज ऑन इंक्रीजिंग द गेट टू सोर्स वोल्टेज द चैनल विथ द चैनल विथ विल ऑल्सो इंक्रीज एंड वेन चैनल विथ इंक्रीजेस वेन चैनल विथ इंक्रीजेस द कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ चैनल इंक्रीजेस एंड वेन कंडक्टिविटी इंक्रीजेस द रेजिस्टेंस डिक्रीजेस सो इफ वी कंपेयर केस नंबर वन विथ केस नंबर टू वी जी एस टू इज लेस देन वी जी एस वन दिस मीन्स द कंडक्टिविटी इन केस टू If I compare with the conductivity in case number one, then conductivity in case number one is larger, and because of this reason, resistance offered by the channel in case number two, as compared to the resistance offered in case number one, is greater. The resistance in case number two will increase, and uh, the resistance is equal to one by slope. This means slope of the curve. in case 2 is less than the slope of the curve in case 1 now using this information we can easily plot the characteristics for case number 2 for case number 2 the slope will decrease the slope will decrease and vds saturation vds saturation will also decrease because it is equal to vgs2 minus vt vgs2 is smaller than vgs1 so vd saturation for case number 2 will also reduce this means we will have pinch off early we will have pinch off early and current id will become constant after vd saturation so this is how the curve will look for case number 2 in the same way you can plot the other curves for different cases this is for vgs1 vgs2 in the same way we can plot the curve for the third case in which pinch off will occur much earlier okay and the condition will come when the gate to source voltage will become same as the threshold voltage and in that case the current id will remain zero always this is the plot when vgs is same as the threshold voltage vt during this scenario it doesn't matter how much vds is there the drain current id will always remain zero and let's call this voltage vgs6 there are two other plots for vgs4 and vgs5 which i have not drawn you can draw it by yourself and now we will talk about different regions first i will talk about saturation region we already know this region is the saturation region the region in which the drain current is constant is known as saturation region i will write down the condition for it the saturation region in this region voltage vds is greater than or equal to vgs minus vt this is the condition for saturation region and in this region in this region the drain current id is given by constant k inside the bracket vgs minus vt whole square so this is very important relation id equal to k multiplied with vgs minus vt whole square where k is a constant where k is a constant and it depends on w by l ratio it depends on w by l ratio and you can easily calculate the constant k it is equal to constant 
k is equal to drain current id during on state divided by vgs on minus vt whole square using this you can calculate the value of constant k and if we talk about the unit of k then it is amp per volt square so this is all for the constant k and this is all for the saturation region let's talk about the next region which is triode region triode region the region on the left hand side of the vds saturation locus is known as triode region and to visualize the triode region we first need to draw the vds saturation locus this is the vds saturation for the first curve this is for the second for the third in the same way you will find the points like this and when you join all these points you will have this locus you can see this locus it is locus of vds saturation and the region on the left hand side of this locus is known as triode region because the behavior is same as the triode and i will write down the condition of this region voltage vds must be smaller than vgs minus vt and in this region the equation of drain current is different i will write down the equation of drain current id id is equal to twice of k inside the bracket vgs minus vt multiplied with vds minus vds square by 2 let's say this is equation number 2 and this is equation number 1 when you put vds equal to vgs minus vt in equation number 2 you will find equation number 1 and this is the equation of drain current for the triode region the third region is the cutoff region this region is the cutoff region and the condition is vgs must be less than equal to vt and the drain current id is equal to zero amp this means mosfet remains off in the cutoff region so this is all we are pushing the time so i will explain the transfer characteristics in the next lecture